Hello friends, how are you? In this video lecture, we will be discussing about the Schrodinger equation. Under that, we will study about the time independent Schrodinger equations and time dependent Schrodinger equation, and we will derive for that. Myself, Virendra Kumar, professor and scientist, and you are watching Sci Academic channel. So, please stay tuned throughout all of the video because it is going to be very interesting video and knowledgeable for you. Friends, Schrodinger equation is very important in quantum mechanics because it helps in solving the many complex problems of quantum mechanics very easily. So, we will start the Schrodinger equation from the Maxwell's equation so that it will be very easy to understand all of the things how we derive, how we come to conclusion of this Schrodinger equation. So let's start. So as you know, Maxwell's equation are given by del dot E is equal to zero del dot h is equal to 0 del cross e is equal to minus mu del h by del t and del cross h is equal to epsilon del e by del t where epsilon and mu represent the dielectric permittivity and the magnetic permeability of the medium and e and h represent the electric field and magnetic field respectively for most dielectric the magnetic permeability of the medium is almost equal to that of the vacuum so you can write mu is equal to mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 newton per coulomb square second square so from this maxwell equation we directly write the wave equation my purpose was to introduce this Maxwell equation so that to make you understand that we are getting the wave equation with the help of the Maxwell equation because all electromagnetic phenomena can be said to follow the Maxwell's equation. From these four Maxwell's equation, we can get the Differential equation of the form del de square E is equal to epsilon mu del 2 E by del T square, and also we can get del square H is equal to epsilon mu del 2 h by del t square so i will make a different video on this maxwell equations and derivation of these two equations but in this running equation case i am just writing the result and solution and this and this equations are true for each Cartesian component of E and H. So we can we can write this for the general del square psi is equal to mu epsilon del two psi by del t square. And solution for this equation 
can be written in terms of psi is equal to and solution for this differential equation can be written as psi rt is equal to some psi naught exponential i omega t minus k dot r and this uh, and this is a equation for plane waves propagating in direction of k and we will use this very equation to derive this time independent and time dependent Schrodinger equation. So let's derive these two equations from this plane wave equation psi rt is equal to psi naught e to the power i omega t minus k dot r this is equation number one where psi naught is the amplitude and it is a function of position and not of time now differentiating this equation with respect to time we get del psi by del t is equal to psi naught i omega e to the power i omega t minus k dot r again differentiating this we get del 2 psi by del t square is equal to i omega into i omega psi naught e to the power i omega t minus k dot r that is minus omega square psi so we get this del 2 psi by del t square is equal to minus omega square psi but we know that omega can be given by omega is equal to 2 pi nu that is equal to 2 pi nu is equal to c by lambda so you will use this value further now using this equation number 2 into the equation del square psi is equal to mu epsilon del 2 psi by del t square so this equation reduces to mu epsilon minus omega square psi that is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon psi that means del square psi is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon psi now substituting the value of mu epsilon and omega we get del square psi is equal to minus k square psi where we have used the fact that omega square by k square is equal to 1 by epsilon mu and also k is equal to 2 pi by lambda so putting the value of k is equal to 2 pi by lambda we get del square 
psi is equal to minus 4 pi square by lambda square psi which implies that del square psi plus 4 pi square by lambda square psi is equal to 0. Friends, now using the wave mechanics concept by introducing de Broglie relation lambda is equal to h by mv, we get this equation del square psi plus 4 pi square by h square by m square v square into psi is equal to 0 that can be written as del square psi plus m square v square by h cross square psi is equal to 0. Now if e and v are the total and potential energy of the particle then this we can write this as half mv square is equal to total energy minus potential energy that means we want to have the value of m square v square as 2 times m into e minus v using this value in this equation we get del square psi plus 2m into e minus v by h cross square psi is equal to 0. So this, this is the equation which we wanted to derive and this equation is known as time independent Schrodinger equation. Now we have two choices. First, if the particle is free, then potential energy is zero. Therefore, the time independent equation reduces to del square psi plus 2me by h cross square psi is equal to 0. Second, if particle is not free, particle is not free, that means v is not equal to 0. In that case, v can be dependent on the space or any other function. In that case, the Schrodinger time independent equation will be as 2m into e minus v times divided by h cross square psi is equal to 0. Friends, let us derive the time dependent Schrodinger equation. For that, we will take this equation for the wave function psi rt is equal to psi naught e to the power i k dot r minus omega t where psi naught is the amplitude and k is the wave vector. And we just derive the time independent Schrodinger equation del square psi plus 2 by m h cross square e minus v into psi is equal to 0. For getting the time dependent Schrodinger equation, we will eliminate this e 
from this equation for that let us differentiate this with respect to time so this becomes del psi by del t is equal to minus i omega into psi naught e to the power i k dot r minus omega t that is equal to minus i omega psi since we know from the einstein's photoelectric effect relationship that e is equal to h cross omega so using this relation we will replace omega by e by h cross that means i minus i into e by h cross psi that means e psi is equal to minus s cross by i del psi by del t that is equal to i h cross del psi by del t so we get e psi is equal to i h cross del psi by del t that means e can be replaced by the operator i h cross del by del t now substituting the value for e is equal to i h cross del by del t in this equation we get del square psi plus 2 by 2m by h cross square into e minus b psi is equal to 0 therefore this becomes 2m by h cross square i h cross del by del t psi minus b psi is equal to 0 h cross square by 2m del square psi plus i h cross del psi by del t minus b psi is equal to 0 this implies that i h cross del psi by del t is equal to minus h cross square by 2m del square psi plus b psi that is equal to minus h square by 2m h cross square by 2m del square plus b into psi this is the time dependent schrodinger equation where minus h cross square by 2m del square plus b is called the hamiltonian of the system that is equal to the total energy this also can be written as e psi is equal to h psi these forms of the schrodinger equation describe the motion of a non relativistic particle so friends this is for now just we have finished describing and discussing the schrodinger equation of the type time independent as well as the time dependent schrodinger equation hope you like this video and enjoyed the lecture friends if you have not subscribed the sai academy channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of the um, upcoming videos 
थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स